Hey guys, this is Noah with Learn the Meta Analysis, and I am tired of introductions to different software programs that take forever. Super long videos, right, to tell you something very simple. So today, I'm gonna do a walkthrough of Zotero, and we're going to go through all of the things that I use on a daily basis when using Zotero, and we're gonna try and do this very quickly. So first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna download Zotero and the Zotero connector. You can do this at the Zotero website, which is zotero.org. I'm not gonna walk you through how to do that because it's 2024, and I'm assuming you know how to download software and install it on your computer. So when we do that, we are going to get a wonderful little desktop app that looks like this. And you can see I already have a number of libraries over here on the left. And then down here, you can see I have group libraries as well. The next thing that I want to show you is the center pane. This is where the title of your articles are. And it also lists the authors. You can search all of this stuff by using this search bar over here on the right side. And if you select something, for example, I selected this article here, it gives you the information for it over here on the right. And you can also add notes, uh, other attachments, things like that. So the main thing I am assuming that you're going to want to know is how to get things in here quickly and why is it useful for you. So to show you how to do that, we are going to start out on a journal article website. So I like to go to the actual page itself at the publisher's site. So you can see this article is about cognitive load theory, etc. To save this, we are going to go up here to the right and we are going to use the Zotero connector. You can see it says save to Zotero when I highlight over it. I'm going to click that and then it's going to ask which library. I'm going to say cognitive load theory and you can see it downloaded the full PDF. When I open up Zotero, you can see that this is automatically selected. And over here on the right, it has the little icon for me, right? So you can see it's a nice little icon. If I double click on this article, it will now open the entire PDF for me in Zotero. And there's a whole bunch of things you can do here. I'm assuming you're gonna figure out how to use this toolbar. But for example, you can highlight things, you can underline things, you can add little post-it notes, and you can also write directly on the PDF. This PDF viewer is really, really nice because you can get it to it quickly and it will save all these highlights and things for you for the future as well. Okay, so we have now used the Zotero connector to save articles into our Zotero library. What do we do if we want to use this for writing, right? So let me get my keyboard over here. I actually had moved it out of the way. Okay, so let's say we are working in Word. One of the things that you notice, well, that you may notice now that you have Zotero installed is we have this uh, Zotero extension for Word that got installed. And you can see we have a number of features up here. So if I say this cool fact, and I wanna cite that, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click add or edit citation and it's gonna say, hey, what citation style do you wanna use? There's a whole bunch of options, but I'm gonna choose APA 7 because that's what my field is generally using right now. And I click okay, and it's gonna remember that. And you can see the first thing that it came up with is what I actually have selected in my Zotero app right now. So I am just going to click OK to show you this. But if you want to search for other articles, let's say I want to search by something from me, I type in my last name and it's going to bring up everything in my libraries here. And it's also going to show you what different libraries that you actually have it in. So you can see I have one in my refutation text one, I have one in my 360 video one, etc. So for the sake of now, I'm just going to include the one article and I'm going to hit enter. Boom, added that in, in APA style. Now let's say we want to edit, add our bibliography. What we do is we simply go up here and click add edit bibliography and it's going to put it in there for us. Now, if you are APA citing like I am, you will see that these are not correct APA style, right? Like the first letter should be capitalized, but these other ones shouldn't. How do we fix that quickly? Well, what we can do is go back into Zotero, we right click on the title and we switch it to sentence case. That will make everything lowercase, and then we just have to fix the one letter, hit enter, and now this appears correctly. If we go back into our Word document and we click this refresh button, it's going to update that for us so that it reflects exactly how it is in Zotero. So that is how we get that in there. But what happens if you decide, hey, I wanna actually submit to a different journal that uses a different citation style? If you wanna change this, all you gotta do is go to document properties, and now we can change it. I'm just gonna change it to the AMA just because why not, it's different. So you can see it automatically switched it for us in the paper. Now we'll switch it one more time just to Chicago with the full note, just to show you how quick and easy this is. And as I said, there's a number of different options in here, but there's also a lot of options on the website. You can download different style sheets for citations and things like that. Okay, so now we have saved things into Zotero. We have organized them into collections. Uh, oh, I wanna show you one other way that we can get information in here. Okay, so like what happens if we're writing with a bunch of different people and maybe they didn't build their citations in um, or you have everything that you need to cite in one library. So what you can do, let's say that you know you cited everything in this library. You can just highlight this. I'm gonna make this half my screen real quickly. 
Um, and then I need to get back to my Word document and put this on the other half of the screen. OK, so I have everything highlighted over here in Zotero, right? And I want to move that into my Word document in my bibliography. All I got to do is click and drag and look right there. Everything's in. OK, so very, very simple, um, very, very simple for us to do. So you'll notice it's a different format. It's because I have mine that goes default to APA. Um, but you can you can change all of these different defaults and everything. I'm not going to go into that because I already showed you how to use document preferences and things like that. So I'm going to close this and I'm not going to save it. I am now going to show you how to do this in uh, Google Docs, right? That's the other writing program a lot of people use for academic writing. So if we are in a Google Doc and we say this cool fact and we want to cite this, up here at the top we have a little Zotero button and we can click add or edit citation. So when you do that, it's going to ask you to authorize your account, right? So I am going to choose the account that I want to link it to. And it's going to say the privacy policy stuff, all that sort of uh, fun things, which I encourage you to always read. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue because I've seen it. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say yes. And again, you should read all these privacy policies and everything to see if you actually agree with these things. I'm going to hit continue because I've read them all in the past. And then you can see it is currently doing its linking. And down here, if I click on Zotero proper, it's asking me what citation style do I want to use. So I'm going to say I'm going to use APA 7 for this, and I'm going to click OK. And now it says, OK, great, now we're in our Zotero. So what we're doing is we're using Google Docs, and we are connected to Zotero on our computer. I'm just going to choose this first one, and I'll click a couple different things just so you can see how you can do different citations here. And I'm going to click OK. And now we have that. And just like in Word, if we want to add the bibliography, we just click Zotero, click Add Edit Bibliography. It is doing that. All right, wonderful. Now, what if we want to edit this and we want to have a, uh, a citation in there where we actually use the author's name? So we'll say something like um, Schrader and then like an APA, I need to put the year in there yet, right? So what I can do is I can go to Zotero, add edit. It's going to come up. I'm going to choose one of my own papers. It doesn't really matter which. Uh, sure, I'll choose that one. Uh, what you can do then is you can click on it and you can click omit author right down here, this little checkbox. And what that does is it just enters, whoops, sorry about that. OK, so when you do that and you click Enter, it just enters the year into your document for you, but it still records this as a reference. So you can see it added in my reference right here for that article that I just did. And just like the other one, if you want to change the uh, citation style, we can just choose Document Preferences. And then I'll change it to this one just for fun. And you can see it has automatically changed that for us. So that is really cool, really fast. Uh, Zotero is wonderful for all of these things. Last but not least, I want to show you how to work on this with more than one person, right? So like, let's say you have multiple people working on the same uh, paper, and you guys all want to use Zotero. What you can do is you can go to the Zotero website, and after you log in, you click on Groups. You can click on Create New Group. And as you do that, you need a name. So you just pick whatever name you want to do. You can choose if it's open or closed. And then it's going to give you the option to invite your friend either by their username or their email address. OK, so this has been a super quick tutorial. What have we done? We have downloaded Zotero. We have imported articles into Zotero. We have read and annotated articles in Zotero. We have moved our citations into both Microsoft Word and Google. And we have seen how to edit the preferences for each of those things, as well as do uh, parenthetical citations, as well as the other type of in-text citations where we want to omit the author's name. Um, oh, one last thing I'm going to show you about this, because this does come up when we're writing in some citation styles. So what if you need to include a page number, like you have a direct quote? What you can do is you click on Edit with Zotero again. We're going to double click that. We're going to single click that citation again and see how it's got this thing for page. What we can do here is just put 29. And you can see now this is how it's going to display, where it says P.29. We click Enter. And then this is what it would be for that style. If you're not used to this style, I'm going to switch it back to APA just so you can see how it would display in APA. And now it says page 29 there for us. So super fast, super efficient. Like I said, I use Zotero for almost all of my writing needs now because it is so fast to help me get my citations in there. I really love the PDF viewer because it keeps all my highlights. So that said, uh, my clock here says we are just about at 10 minutes. That is quick start guide to Zotero, 10 minutes or less. Thank you guys. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thank you so much and have a great day.